a cargo ship stuck at sea is finally docking at a Chinese port. The peak Pegasus has been sailing near the coast for over a month, trying to dodge the U.S.-China trade war. The ship missed a deadline to avoid a 25 percent tariff on the imported goods by just a few hours. CGTN's Xu Shenqin reports from the port in Dalian City in northeastern China. A ride behind me, the peak Pegasus is unloading its 70,000 tons of U.S. soybeans. The vessel docked around midnight and started offloading the shipment. The vessel was a social media sensation as some media picked it up and reported that it was racing to deliver its shipment before new Beijing tariffs took effect last month. It was expected to arrive on July the 6th, shortly after U.S. President Donald Trump imposed the first round of tariffs on 34 billion U.S. dollars worth of Chinese goods. But docking today means the U.S. soybean shipment is subject to a further 25 percent retaliatory tariff by China. The cargo owner, agricultural commodity trading house Louis Dreyfus, and the Chinese purchaser Sano Grain told us that the ship didn't dock due to a limited warehouse capacity at the port. Due to the escalating trade conflict between the U.S. and China, some firms have increased their orders for soybean imports, causing a temporary congestion at the port. Several vessels were waiting to offload, and China's Sino Grain said it will pay off the tariffs. The Chinese firm also has to pay additional fees to keep the vessel in the water. But Sano Grain said it is normal for the purchaser to cover that cost if docking was delayed. Sano Grain also said that it has already found alternative soybean sources, so it has not yet seen lags in productions or price height. Now, Chinese firms are sourcing from countries like Brazil and Russia. I've spoken to a few traders, and they said while well, South American countries and countries around the Black Sea have the capacity to fill the demand, there are still logistical challenges. And that's why prices have been slowly going up for Brazilian and Russian soybeans. Some analysts say China still needs to import a relatively small amount of U.S. soybeans to meet its demand. Xu Xingchen, CGTN, Dalian, Liaoning Province.